Alex returns to Theresa in the square, prompting Constantin to depart. Alex calls him insufferable and then gives Theresa a jewelry box. She opens it to a diamond bracelet. Overwhelmed, she wishes there was something she could do for him. Alex has a few ideas and pulls her in for a kiss, which continues at their apartment until they end up in bed. After sex, Theresa tells Alex she's crazy about him. She prompts him to reciprocate, but he's more into actions than words. Didn't what they just did tell her anything? She reservedly smiles and goes to take a shower. Alex calls Kristen. I miss you too, he says. Hopefully tomorrow. I can't wait. At the apartment, Sarah tears up and asks for a redo. Sander gets back on one knee and says he wants to be the man she and Victoria deserve. She's everything to him. He presents the ring again and asks her to marry him. She will definitely marry him. She can't wait to be his wife. He puts the rectangular-shaped diamond on her finger, and they sweetly kiss. After Jada leaves the pub, Kayla asks Steve to tell her what's going on with Constantin. He promises to tell her everything when the time is right. In the square, Constantin mutters to himself about the insolent swine, Alex, as Maggie returns. She asks him to be in charge of a charitable trust, distributing funds to causes that meant the most to Victor. Constantin lights up. It would be his honor. Days of our lives game changer. Nicole finds out Jude is hers. But there's a catch. Sarah comes home to a note on a sweet bits box. It reads, Open me. She finds three rose cupcakes. Sander comes out with a pink rose bouquet and wordlessly hands her a card. It reads, Won't you play with me? Sarah knows of a couple of games they could play and starts to unbutton his shirt. He reminds her Victoria is about to wake up for her afternoon bottle. So he suggests they play cards. On the back of the Queen of Hearts card is another note. At the pub, Kayla rants to Steve about her busy day because of staff shortages. When she tries to catch up on him, he's short and to the point, which she doesn't love. However, when she brings up Constantin, he muses that Maggie will be just fine. Kayla questions that, but Jetta enters before he can elaborate. When John comes home, Marlena worries Maggie has put herself in danger with Constantin by redistributing Victor's wealth. John muses there will be enough money left over to appease him. However, he calls Maggie to make sure there's nothing else they need to know. Alex and Theresa stroll through the square arm in arm. Theresa tenses as they run into Maggie and Constantin. The latter suggests the happy couple get engaged and they make it a double wedding. Maggie apologizes for him and then wonders why Alex isn't at work getting ready for an important meeting. He assures her his EP has it covered. Maggie leaves for the office, so at least one of them is there. At the pub, Jetta enthuses about moving in with Rafe and divorcing Bobby. However, she's worried Everett will break Stephanie's heart like he did hers. They assure her Steve will handle it if he gets out of line. Steve will also step in if Jetta has a problem with him pointing out her dad was a dear friend. Jetta calls them family and wishes they could spend more time together. She's just pulled in too many directions. Steve asks how the search for Clyde is going. At home, Sarah reads the flower cards note that tells her to check out the art. Xander informs her she's on a scavenger hunt for treasure. He hints the art's not on the walls though and instructs her to look inside a decorative jar. He goes to get Victoria as Sarah finds a ring box. Xander returns with their daughter who wears a bib that reads, Will you marry daddy? Sarah tears up. In the square, Alex pointedly tells Constantin he's moving into the mansion. It leads to a snarky back and forth about Constantin's living arrangements. Theresa reminds them it's Maggie's decision since it's her house. Alex clarifies it's theirs equally, as is Victor's fortune. Constantin and Theresa share a look. When Alex goes to buy Theresa a surprise, she yells at Constantin for pushing her and Alex's engagement. She assures him she's gotten herself back into his bed. Now, she just needs to get into the mansion. Maggie comes to John and Marlena's, who want to discuss next steps with Constantin.
She suggests they make it look like Constantin has been embezzling from Titan. With Alex more focused on spending his inheritance than running the company, it'd be easy to transfer funds to an account Maggie opened on Constantin's behalf. Maggie leaves to plant the seed. At the pub, Jana tells Steve about Clyde's black book, but they can't crack the code. Steve offers to take it to the ISA. She tells him Harris has that covered with his naval buddies, but she'll talk to Rafe. She states the book could lead to a lot of closure, including Lee's murder. Steve asks her to keep him in the loop. After putting Victoria down, Xander gets on one knee in front of Sarah. She's made his life better in so many ways. The only thing that could improve what they have is knowing he gets to spend the rest of his life with her. He opens the box to a dazzling diamond. Will you marry me? Sarah says she can't accept it. A confused Xander stammers. Not him, she clarifies, the ring. It's too much. Sander assures her he already put Maggie's money in a trust for Victoria, with Sarah as the trustee. After that, he wanted to get her the best ring money could buy. But she already has the best. I have you.